Okay, so do you need my last name? Well, it just depends. Wait, wait. I'll, I'll take your last name, sure. Okay. So, yeah, because, I mean, you can't really answer questions unless you look in the file, right? Well, that's what I asked if you need a status update. Well, yeah, and I need more than that. So let's get what's into your, Yeah. Yeah, what's, I, yeah, I need your last name and date of birth, please. So it is uh, June... And last name is Parizeau, P-A-R-I-S-E-A-U. Thank you. One moment. Now, I don't have great reception where I am, so I'm not going to move where I am unless there's a bear okay. coming towards me or something. And uh, so uh, so if it gets cut off, it's probably not a bear. It's just a, you need to call back, you know. Okay. Okay. Okay, so... Um... I'm just looking, I see your most recent service is uh, for Kispiax Community School. Okay. And we're just waiting for a payment to be made. By who? Uh, we have sent you an email payment link. Uh, which date? That was sent on the 30th of October at 12.30. Okay, so just so you know, I sent an email to uh, the Minister uh, of a Solicitor General of BC, because you fall under him, right? Yeah. Okay, and I said that I would send him a link to a Zoom conversation where he would have to respond to two particular issues that I'm oversighting, meaning I'm being an oversight to see what's happening. And one of them is the issues we're discussing right now. So I, I will make him privy to this information because it's important we both record this for the sake of quality. So I don't know how far you can see notes in my file, but uh, they, they had told one time last week, I think at least a week ago, and I, and I have screenshots of this, I decided to just make the payment myself instead of them because they said they were going to do it. And uh, the screenshots of your system say that it couldn't be processed because it had already been processed. Now, I didn't try again after that, but I did see that going through my own account was $28 from the government uh, on November 1st. And now you are saying on today's date, which is the 6th, that you're still waiting for a payment. Okay, um... A, a payment link from us and then you made the payment so what I did was because you guys had the wrong address at first weeks later I eventually yeah. contacted you guys and found out you had the wrong address yeah. now you never took responsibility for that so you never waived the fee for example and on Wednesday November 1st last well, week I was volunteering for that school through another program Spirit North and I'm charged without okay. even knowing as a volunteer for that, and you guys never respond to the emails to find out what's happening here. Okay, well, the what we've processed where there is a twenty-eight dollar fee is is an employee consent form. It's not a volunteer consent form because there isn't a fee for a volunteer form. Yeah, so it makes no difference at this point because I think you pretty much your department has ruined my chance to be employed there at this point. It's been taken more than a month and, and it makes them be suspicious of a stranger in their community. When in fact, you know, I don't run away from the law, it's more the law runs away from me. And that, you know, that's kind of evidence I have on my YouTube channel. So I don't like these games because in the meantime, kids that wonder why I'm not at school, you know, are suffering. to say we're a uh, general inquiries phone line I can give you a status update all I can tell you is what is showing can you repeat um, my email from my file yeah. what sorry what your email address is yes and whoever is talking to you can also yeah. talk to me if they want so what is Nobody's my talking to me you're, you're not yeah. you're not you're not getting advice right now or anything okay so what is my email? No, I'm Dr. at gmail.com. 
Bocock. Please spell it. B O C T O R H U M A N I C S at gmail.com. Okay, that is accurate. So if not you, I'd like somebody yeah. higher up in your department to respond to me by email because when I talk to the minister in charge of this ministry, I would either say I'm waiting for at least one of the two things I want you to look into to respond and I might be able to delay it with him on one of these. You are one, another one is a, is a situation in uh, on Vancouver Island from multiple years ago. So please do something about this because as I said, we are both creating recordings of this conversation which will be delivered to the minister of BC that is under this ministry. So please have somebody higher up take this seriously and speed it up. You don't have to even refund me the $28, but now that I paid for it, I think it should be sent directly to my email as a PDF as soon as possible. So I am not able to assist you further at this uh, level. I will have to get a senior agent to contact you. Yes, I recommend that as soon as possible. What I'm going to do yes. today is send an email to this minister and say I am willing to delay one week because I spoke to you today and here is the recording of today's conversation. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Yeah, what's your phone number? Well, I need your phone number, please, for a senior agent to get back to you. Yeah, you, you did use one and you can try it, but I rarely have cell phone connection and calls are not as well recorded as emails for the record. So I'd prefer an email and somebody giving me their direct line that when I'm at a place where reception is good, I would call this senior person back. Okay, the emails that you've already sent to us, is that to criminalrecords at dove.bc.ca? Well, there's one from about five years ago That's that I... That's email address. Well, I can't access one from five years ago. No, no, but I mean from five years ago, I know that there's one I use and I believe it is the same. So I've been using the same, and I do think it's the one that shows under, uh, let's say, a letter of sharing. A sharing letter, let's say I want to share this recent criminal record check with other organizations. But look for my email as well in your email box and see if you find it. Otherwise, you did say it, and you can repeat your email for this recording, and I will confirm when I get to my computer that that's where I sent the last few ones. Yes, it's criminal records with an S at gov.bc.ca and I will email you this afternoon uh, to drhumanix at gmail.com and uh, you can reply to it with your issues and questions and a senior agent will respond. Yeah, so so what I'm not what I'm not going to do is I'm is I'm not going to repeat myself because if you're recording this, just pass the recording of the conversation to the person. So I'm not going to repeat myself, and you can send me an email just to confirm we talked today, and you also have the recording, and I'll respond with sending you my recording in case yours didn't work. But I'm going to end my recording now because I have limited storage.